So I'm here with Connor Lemma. He's a member of the Pacific Lutheran University baseball team and also playing for the Salem Salamanders in the Cascade Collegiate League. And so uh, first question I have for you, um, you know, you're, you're out here playing summer ball. You know, it's, it's a challenge. It's, it's a grind. So what are things that you do to help you uh, get through the summer and even get through the spring and the fall uh, as you're playing almost year-round? Yeah, so scheduling is definitely a big thing, keeping organized. Um, and on the baseball side of things, uh, our coach, Cameron Richmond, uh, pitched the University of Portland, and having him like showing us these arm care routines is keeping us healthy when we're playing upwards of 20, 28 innings a weekend. So it's really helpful to just stay in shape and keep the arm loose, and that's the thing that we can carry on in the fall and the spring for uh, school ball teams. And then, you know, playing college ball, it's a lot different than playing high school ball. I mean, just the whole atmosphere is different. Yeah. What are some things that you had to learn, had to adjust when you moved from that high school to that college level? Yeah, so realizing, like, how much you love the game, even though it's not always going to be as easy as it once was in high school when the pitchers weren't throwing as hard, and then you get to college ball, and the guys that are 22 and 23 playing against 18-year-olds, like, it's a big adjustment, and just realizing the extra mental step as well is something that's really important in college baseball and having a good mentality and bringing that to the yard every day and just not getting lackadaisical. And then, you know, summer ball is about, you know, focusing on certain things, improving certain things. Is there something that this summer you've really wanted to focus on and really try to improve on as you get ready for next year? Yeah, so the thing that I really like about this league, um, in my exit meeting for my school ball, uh, coach, I talked with him about the things I really need to improve on to possibly get a starting job and play more this upcoming year. And, um, like, those are the things that I'm able to work on. So, having a good, better approach, staying low on throwdowns, like, that's all what I'm able to work on in this league. And it's, I've already noticed improvements, which is really nice. And then, you know, to play college ball, it takes a lot of effort, a lot of time, but also takes people behind you, pushing you, encouraging you. Who in your life have you looked at and said, you know, that person has really helped me to get to where I'm at right now? Yeah, so I can think of a couple people right off the bat. My family, number one, driving me to all these tournaments um, before traveling with me to these showcases. And then, so my entire family, uncles, aunts, aunts, everything. And then my strength training coach, uh, Stephen Garnett, he was incredible helping me recover from concussions and mm -hmm. realizing what I needed to do, and then also Ryan Sires was the guy that got me in contact with Pacific Lutheran University. He's the coach of the Prairie Dogs. Um, one of the best baseball minds, especially in eastern Washington and around this area, when it comes to just the love of the game and wanting to get kids to go play more. Yeah, and Ryan's also part of the uh, Yakima, Yakima Valley Community College, and yep. uh, that team's made it to the NWAC tournament a couple years in a row, and got a great program there. And then, you know, also for a lot of a lot of players, when they're growing up, they'll look at Major League Baseball and see stars, and they'll kind of like imitate certain players, or even just take their uh, mannerisms and try and yeah. cop copy that. Is there a player that you looked at and said, you know, I, I really like his approach and his style. I want to kind of be like that. Yeah, so one that comes to me real quickly would be uh, Yogi Berra. So he'd always talk to the umpires and, like, ask about their kids, see how they're doing. And that's the thing that, like, there's the game within the game. And if you can be friends with the umpires, like, I'm not saying you'll get more calls, but you'll just have that good reputation with them. Um, so Yogi Berra is pretty much the guy that I'd come to first and just how hard he always played and Always, his mannerisms too are just something that's always fun to listen to. Definitely a guy who understood the mental side probably better than yeah. most most yeah. players. And uh, you know, also, you know, you're out here and, and at baseball games you see a lot of a lot of kids, a lot of young players who want to play. But you know, even in a league like this, it's just it's a goal for them. Yeah. What advice would you have for them as they're hoping to um, make it to the next level, whether that be high school ball, college ball, or whatever? Yeah, stick with it. Um, sometimes you get people who aren't really wanting you to get there, and you just kind of got to look at them and say it's not you who's going to dictate my success so just keep it going and realize that it'll get better no matter what you're doing and it'll happen as well yeah. awesome well thank you very much yeah thank you